Hi guys, this will be episode 2 in the 6-in-1 solar robot assembly. I did the unboxing and assembled the motor and gearbox unit in the part 1. I'll do the solar module now, but that's only about two pieces to put together. Then we're going to test the solar module with the gearbox. And then we might be able to do the CD racer. But I think I might have to use a battery instead of trying to use the solar module. We'll see how we get on. Let's do the solar module. So we'll need the solar panel. And we'll need part A16. Which is in the green bits. Yeah, that's that piece. We'll go and try it against a bright light. None of the lights in here are any good because they're not... Well, they're all LED lights and they're just not bright enough. Or not the right sort of radiation. We're in my kitchen where I've got halogen lights underneath the cupboards. We'll move straight on to the CD racer. We need three CDs, B11. B6 and B3 and A8. B6, B3. Right, B6, B3. A4. It's a bit of a tight fit. I'm going to skip putting the funny eyes on the front of the solar unit. A10, A7.
before I show you it running under solar power, I'll just show you a modification I've done. It didn't matter what I did, I couldn't get the wheel to spin freely using that plastic hub. The plastic tubes that stick out either side of it jam in the yellow plastic. Now I don't know if it was supposed to or not, but that meant the wheel was trying to spin on the plastic, uh, what can we call them, the bits that were holding the CD in place. Now I would have thought they were supposed to hold the CD in place tightly and the green shafts were supposed to spin inside the yellow plastic, but that wasn't happening. The green shafts were sticking inside the yellow plastic and the wheel was trying to spin where it was supposed to grip. So I've cut those green plastic bits. You can still see it sticking through there, but I've actually cut them just there. And the same on that side, cut them there. And then I put a bicycle spoke through the middle of the whole thing. And that is now the bearing or the shaft that it's all spinning on. I just cut the bicycle spoke, bent it into an L shape so it holds itself in position on this side and on the other side I've used an electrical connector to actually clamp it in place. So now that's nice and free running. Now we'll have a look at it actually running under artificial sunlight. Right, this is my halogen light and extension lead. It's working. And it does quite good speed to be honest from that tiny little motor. It's just well geared and it works. End of part two.